actress from show next door steps in that last minute to save Mamma Mia musical. A talented actress saved the show when she rushed on stage to fill in for her injured friend despite being from an entirely different musical. Steph Perry, 35, was working as an understudy in 42nd Street when she got a call asking her to fill in for one of the main characters in Mamma Mia, less than 200 meters away. Thursday's show nearly had to be cancelled after one of the main characters injured herself within seconds of going on stage. Steph told Metro.co.uk, From when I got the call to when I stepped on stage in character it was only about 15 minutes, so it was a very spur-of-the-moment decision. I loved it. For me it was another chance to play the role that loved. I didn't really have time to be nervous. And I think I didn't allow myself to think that I did not know what I was doing but I did have a moment when I just thought what are you about to do? I was a bit mortified when they asked me to go on because I hadn't washed my hair and at 42nd Street everyone wears wigs so our hair is up in pin curls. Carolyn Deverell, who was on stage as Donna, the character made famous by Meryl Streep in the hit film, and pulled her calf muscle as soon as she went on stage for her first scene. Like a true professional, she carried on as much as she could, and even performed Abba's Money Money, despite the pain she was in. Usually when a main character is taken ill during a show, there are people who are ready to take to the stage and fill in at a moment's notice. More, Burglar stole £4,500 from Greggs before bizarrely confessing to police unfortunately for Mamma Mia that night, the two people who knew the role were off sick. But there is a saying in theater the show must go on. And Steph is one of the West End's most reliable names, with roles in top-end shows like Wicked, Billy Elliot, and West Side Story, to name a few. One of the stage managers in Mamma Mia remembered that Steph had played the role five years previously, and had even been called in in February to fill in for another performance. The production was forced to grind to a halt for 18 minutes. But Steph says the audience were completely on her side when the stage manager announced what was happening and she took to the stage. She said, When I stepped on stage I felt like Taylor Swift, there was just this amazing applause. I didn't need to do anything other than do what I do every day. The crazy thing is, 42nd Street is about a girl who has to save the show and becomes a star when the main actress hurts her leg. I never expected that to happen to me but in another show. Far from the shows being competitive with each other, each cast from the two shows are immensely proud of their colleague. Steph added, the West End have all got to help each other and they didn't see why another show should close if we could do something to help. Thankfully, the show was a hit, and Steph was able to nail the demanding role, but she had to navigate herself around an entirely new cast, the majority of which she had never even laid eyes on before. She said, I knew the actor who plays Sam, who is Donna's love interest, already as he was there when I was, and scenes with him were like putting on a comfy pair of slippers but I had never met the actress who plays my daughter before and we had to have these emotional scenes together. She actually came up to me in the wings to introduce herself and just said to me it's lovely to meet you, I just had to see your face. Before we properly met for the first time on stage. When you talk about it and you realize you spend weeks with these people and building the relationships with people, but I didn't have any of that. By a stroke of bad luck, the costume she needed to wear that bring the character alive had been kept at the Novello Theater, Mamma Mia's home stage, since February. But they had been taken and put into storage that day, meaning the costume department had a mad dash to get everything she needed. Steph added, the stage manager and deputy stage manager both went to pick up my costumes for me to wear but each of them thought the other had the key so warehouse but they each thought the other had got the key, so the costume department just gave me a mishmash of costumes from other people. One of my colleagues told me this is what my stressed dreams are made of apostrophe. Following the news of her heroism, which saved the production from having to refund each of the audience members. Steph woke up to find herself splashed across the national newspapers, including page 3 of the Times and the Daily Telegraph. She added, It is my debut as a page 3 girl. This is what dreams are made of, it never happens to me, getting this kind of exposure. More, 
flight from Belfast to a visa diverted due to passengers being too disruptive more, head teacher enrages parents for rewarding kids with good attendance.